Huh, funny. And I have it fresh from the shop. <laughs> Jesus! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, this bike is freaking fast, man. Imagine the same weight of the Honda, but with at least twice the power. This is now just in street mode. I tried it in sport mode and it scared me a bit. It is really freaking fast. So this is a KTM 890 Duke R. And according to the papers, it's from 21, 2021. And this is what the shop gave me as a rental bike this morning. Because my Honda is still not done. We had the same thing again, not answering calls. So I went there this morning to see how it's going and what is up with my motorcycle. And the Honda is still on the same bench. The engine is apart and apparently they are only waiting for one part to arrive and that will be the timing chain. I got the chance to talk to the actual mechanic that works on the bike and he seems to be pretty cool and he seems to know what he's doing. So that's actually quite good. But yeah, they haven't basically haven't done anything yet. Basically haven't done anything yet except for taking apart the engine. <sighs> Yeah, it's been now two and a half months and it really sucks, really. It's not cool. Because there's still no date when it's gonna be finished or whatever, I requested a rental bike now and they just gave it to me. There was no paperwork. They just basically gave me the keys and I drove off. I don't know if it is because it is a sports bike or, or what this is all about, but it is so hard, it is so uncomfortable compared to my Honda. I don't know, the seat doesn't feel right for some reason, doesn't feel good. And riding with this motorcycle is a bit like I don't know, it's it's way too hectic for some reason. There's no way you can relax or just have a chill ride out because it's just so much power. Second gear now, 40. Whoa! Whoa! It's just crazy really, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's a really scary motorcycle. That makes me miss my Honda even more. It's such a great bike, really. Well, it sounds really cool, though. Seating position is a bit like on the Zero bike. I would say a little bit more uncomfortable. I don't know, it's, it's probably the whole sport bike thing that is just not my thing. And to be honest with you guys, I don't need this power. This is just ridiculous. It is not fun for me. To be honest, it's no fun. It just makes the whole riding experience super hectic and super, even in the normal street mode right now, it's just too much power for my taste, too much power. I'm now on this bike for like an hour and all I want to do is just get off. Anyways, I have no idea when the Honda is going to be back. They think that the parts are going to be there next week, but yeah, they said that so many times now. So I'm not quite sure what to think of that. I do like this display here. 
way better than the old Honda display. They're gonna replace that one too. I bought a used uh, whole module, 25 euro on eBay, because I think my tachometer is broken. That's what I think. It made noises and then, you know, you know the story on the Autobahn. Gave up. <laughs> Anyways, that is just a small update now for you. Gotta get home now. See you guys in the next video. I'll keep you posted. Cheers.